Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. C in my weekly video. A little bit late this week. I have a bit of an excuse, but most of my students like when things don't go right in my life so I can help you process when things don't go right in yours. And it's a leadership moment for me yesterday, Friday morning. I went on the water in my kayak very early. I was there when the sun rose and it was absolutely magnificent. If you are a part of my Facebook community, you have to see the picture. It was right as the sun was peeking through the clouds. But as I was about halfway through the, the trip, I took off my jacket, it was a little cool in the morning, and noticed there was water in the boat. Uh, I have a kayak that I've been around about two and a half years now, and there shouldn't be water in the boat. Uh, dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in the boat. And things got a little spooky for me, but this is that coaching opportunity that has, as I had to get into critical thinking mode. I had to be able to egress from the water, be able to get to safety, to be able to assess the situation, be able to correct the situation. Because here's the one thing, in that moment, there was no one there to save me. I had to save myself. And it was a little bit scary because I didn't know how fast the, the water had been collecting. I hadn't noticed it up until that moment. I didn't know how quickly it was gonna feel. And water gets really heavy. And I noticed that as I was trying to um, paddle, things got a little bit heavier. And so I was able to get to safety. I was able to pull the kayak out of the water. I fell, um, which had a few curse words to, to say as a result of the fall. My hips still barking at me and I've got some raspberries on my arm, but I'll be okay. But it was just a matter of, I didn't anticipate having an extra, all that extra weight in the boat when I had to pull it out of the water. And I've since found out with my father that I guess um, every gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. So I'm guessing I had two to three extra gallons of, of extra weight that I didn't anticipate. So I've got some bruises, jerked my shoulder a little bit, but it was a, in the moment I had to solve the problem. I had to get to safety. You know, I always wear a safety vest and I have all of my safety gear, et cetera. But I've never had that happen before. It was pretty interesting. And then not only had to get from the water to the edge of the uh, pier, but I had to get from the pier to my car. And with all that extra weight, it took a lot. And after kayaking, you're tired, at least I am. Now, here are some tips you want to think about. First of all, I was prepared. I've been doing a lot of working out, um, a lot for me anyway. Um, I do a lot of upper body strength, and that gave me the extra abilities to be able to solve the crisis in that moment, to be able to pick up the boat with extra weight, even though I fell because I wasn't anticipating it. Uh, but I was able to get it to the car, and then I was able to troubleshoot it and find the hole and then dump the water out so I could be able to put it in my car and take it out. But this is the part you really have to understand about how to become self-reliant, how to critically think in a crisis, how to coach yourself through a crisis. And so I was able to get myself home, which is about maybe 10 minutes or so from the house. And I immediately called my folks because I wanted to let them know. I'm not sure that I even told anyone that I was on the lake. I usually try and leave a note in the time that I leave. But these are all the things you have to be conscious of in a crisis. We have to lead ourselves first. And something my dad said was pretty remarkable. He says, you've become quite an independent woman. And the fact that you can handle just about anything with critical thinking. And I'm thinking, wow, it's got to be the nicest thing my dad's ever said. But going through my mind at that time is I was the only one on the water. I was there when, sun, when the park opened at 630, when the sun was just coming up. And if you see my Facebook page, it's a glorious sunrise. But I had to make sure that I was prepared. And preparation started way before I ever got in the kayak that morning. And that I don't even know, I would assume the hole happened somewhere between the last time I pulled it off the water and this time. And the fact that I was prepared by having additional upper body strength, because I work out a couple times a day for me, to be able to have that preparation, to be able to have that coaching. I didn't panic. I simply looked for all those. I always have a way out. I always have an egress model. And I was able to make it work. I'm sure the ducks and the egrets around would probably be very entertained by how I tend to coach myself out loud in those moments. I was able to get through the, the falling part was not some of my best hour. I'm pretty bruised and battered and I will heal. But the whole process was the ability of, we are more independent than we know. We can become more self-reliant when we're tested. And I'd like to tell you that I passed the test in that moment. It was pretty spooky. Notice the video is today and not yesterday. My coach is really trying to work on me of being able to process in the moment. Now I'm all glammed up and makeup and everything. And yeah, I wasn't that way yesterday, but I was a little hurting. And when you're in pain, it's a little bit more vulnerable that you don't want people to see you there. So while I'm still a little bit nervous about it, but I'm really excited the fact that I was able to get through the crisis. I was able to get home and my brother and my dad will come this afternoon and we'll fix the kayak and I'll try it again tomorrow. So think about things that when they happen, you have to be able to look, prepare for them. 
I had all my emergency equipment with me. I knew what the plan was. I just had to put it in action. And then when the plan was over, I was able to get myself home. And now we're going through the next plan to be able to look at how do you fix it? How do you take care of the problem? And how do I take care of me? But it was pretty exciting. And I wanted to congratulate myself that I'm pretty exhausted, um, a little bit bruised and will be for a while. I'm not 20 something anymore, but you've got to learn to lead yourself. And that only comes with preparation. That also comes with planning and that it comes with practice. And I know many of you don't like those moments. None of us do. When things go right, what do we say in class? It's brilliant. But when things don't go right, it's when character shows up and when leadership, leadership shows up and you're stronger than you ever thought possible. You've got this. See you around the quad this week. I'm Dr. C. Bye-bye.